Hello and welcome to the launch of the 2019 Northern Ireland Women's Football Association League season. As you can see, we're back once more at the beautiful Stormont buildings for the league launch, which this season has a brand new format for the competing teams. So without further delay, let's get straight in and get this launch party underway. Let's do it. The 2019 season got underway at Stormont Buildings on April 17 and this year's league promises to be the best ever. There has been a change in the league structure this season which means this time around there will be 39 teams competing over 5 divisions, thus making the NIWFA the biggest league for women's football in Northern Ireland. We caught up with league chairperson Rosie McKee to hear more about the changes in structure. Well, we went uh, divisional because we had been regional and we did a survey and we found out that teams preferred um, to be in the same team with teams of their merit. So we've tried that this year and they look very exciting. And we've also got quite a few new teams mm -hmm. in our last division, so they're new to the game and it'll be really exciting to see what they um, turn up. Also, the championship I think is going to be a very close race. Yeah, it was last sure. year, it was very exciting to the very end. And I think the same thing will happen. The quality of football is improving and we're again improving as much as we can. New uh, Super Cup, uh, Care Group Unit um, Insurance, mm -hmm. our new sponsors. Um, that's the first time we've ever done it because, again, from the survey, the team said they wanted to play uh, teams from other leagues because yeah. then, you know, it tested them, especially if they were playing against higher divisions, and also they never knew. You know what the standard was really like, yeah. so this is why yeah. I come up with this. Sounds quite exciting, isn't yeah, it? It's bit, yeah, it's been created up quite a buzz, and um, so many te teams did it. Understandably, there's a lot of excitement around the various teams for the season that lies ahead. So we took the opportunity to catch up with some of the players to hear of their hopes for the campaign ahead. This year, I think we're going to try and challenge for the league. We finished third last year, which was a really good achievement in our first year senior football. So we want to be there or thereabouts by the end of the season. We've had a really good start to pre-season and we're really looking forward to the, this upcoming season. We've had um, team morale and um, the vibe in, in the, in the uh, squad is really, really positive. So we'll be looking at those kind of um, top tier, like first, uh, we'll, be, we'll be going for the league. If, we've any, if last year's anything to go by, hopefully, hopefully we do well. We came second in the league last year and got the cup final, so fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, well, we started well in pre-season and um, we've had a number of uh, friendlies organised so, and we've, really, we've been rebuilt again as a team, so we're looking forward to the season ahead. I think we're going to go well this year. Um, we've been training lots and uh, pre-season's been really tough this year and uh, we've got loads of new players, so I'm really... Um, Looking forward to the season and I think we're going to do well, yeah. Sponsorship is a key factor for any successful league, and the league's main sponsor this season is the award winning Electric Ireland. Stephen Ray spoke to Claire McAllister from Electric Ireland as to the partnership that exists between them and women's football in Northern Ireland. Support the Northern Ireland Women's Football Association this year. It's an integral part of our Game Changers campaign and we're really hoping to increase the, the awareness of, of women playing football and actually increase participation levels while we're at it. And we're really just excited to see the amount of media interest that we're, we're seeing. You know, it's really on the, on the increase. And that's great. And also seeing the participation levels increase with it. They've increased by 25%. Um, and we're really proud to be part of that. Teams this season come from all over Northern Ireland. From Coleraine to Armagh, from Larne to Downpatrick, from Belfast to Money Slane. The entire province is covered. And here's some more of the players talking about their hopes for the season ahead. Um, well, off the back of winning the league last year, um, Williams, that's our manager, has put together a great team. Um, so we've got a, a lot of pre-season in, a lot of new coaches, um, the Larns Stadium as well, we've got a lot of backing from the Larns Men's Club which is great. Um, I've actually got two teams going now, so we've got Larns Ladies and Larns Olympic, so everything is fitness, skills, drills and then just finding out our, our positions. And our We're all really looking forward to it, um, I hope that, I think that we'll all go really far um, and get a couple of good results out of it. And how well do you think your team will do this season? I think we'll do really well because we've got a couple of uh, 
new players to, that were brought into the team, which will help us a lot. And we're training really hard and work together as a team. Um, obviously, with the league structures changing, you know, it's a bit more competitive this season. But we are looking forward to getting stuck in and hopefully winning, winning the league is the main goal. Um, this season, I think we're quite confident that we can quite maybe lift our first piece of silverware. Um, I know that's the big, the big goal and that's the aim. And I'm hoping that we're able to go out and do it. I don't want to scut us or anything like. But I think we're more than capable to go out and lift our first piece of silverware. Perfect. This season also sees the launch of a brand new competition for the players to compete in, the NIWFA Super Cup, an interleague cup competition which has been kindly sponsored by Car Group Insurance. The draw for it also took place at this year's launch and you can find out the fixtures for this competition on the NIWFA website and social media. That's the launch event complete for the brand new season of NIWFA football. Competitive action gets underway next week and the good news is that we will be there to cover the highs and the lows of the season on NIWFA television. Thank you so much for watching our launch video and don't forget, Girls Get Football! football.